We don't understand the nature of human behavior in most cases, and we often feel that studying patterns of behavior is complicated and ambiguous, to put it bluntly. Our ignorance of human behavior patterns makes us feel that the people around us are fools who do not understand what we are up to, or what we are talking about in many cases. Classifying someone who behaves differently from yours or who has a different opinion of being ignorant, wrong, or even foolish seems easy and dangerous at the same time. The Swedish writer and author Thomas Erickson in his book Surrounded by Fools, The Four Patterns of Human Behavior examines the reasons for this classification, addresses the different patterns of human beings, and answers an important question. How do you understand yourself and others? In the end, you can deal with those around you better and more effectively. The book Surrounded by Ideas provides a study of the personality patterns and the communication techniques of each of them. We deal all the time with people, and we must have faced more than once difficulty in dealing and communicating with some characters, and it will be difficult of course. Especially in professional life, not all personalities are the same, and it is not possible to communicate with all people in the same way, and the inability to communicate effectively with these characters negatively affects professional and personal life. The interpretation of speech is different from the speech itself. When you talk to another person, they will receive information according to their understanding, not necessarily according to what you want. In other words, we need to adapt our communication based on the type of behavior of the recipient listener. There are only two situations in which you can communicate effectively without paying attention to the behavior of the recipient. When you are alone in the room, when everyone in the room is just like you, they have the same scientific, cultural, and pedagogical background. In other cases, we must think about the behavior of others and know the types of each personality individually. Human behavior varies according to genetics and environment. It is impossible to change basic values, that is beliefs that are deeply entrenched in a person's thought. And often these beliefs come from the father and mother, Attitudes and approaches have a role in determining people's behavior, as most people's opinions come from the situations they have experienced and are based on their own experiences as well. In the role of the environment cannot be forgotten, as the previous factors are all affected by the environment and the external environment in one way or another. This is system. The author discusses these characters and provides hints for dealing with character styles where he discusses a well-known method called the DISA system. This method is called the DISA system. It is an acronym that stands for domination, inducement, introduction, and analytic ability. These four terms are the basic personality types which describe how people see themselves in their environment. Each style of these characters is associated with a color red, yellow, green, and blue. This system is also called DISC, where the last letter of the abbreviation stands for compliance rather than analytical ability. Each type of behavior is associated with one of these colors, red, yellow, green, or blue. First, red behavior. People with this attitude are ambitious, impulsive, competitive, and proactive. People belonging to this category of behavior can be described as dictatorial, controlling, and authoritarian, not interested in trivial and superficial conversations, but rather tend to focus on important topics. As for body language, they show clear and distinctive body language, stay at a distance from others, are always in the foreground, shake hands with people, communicate directly with people visually, control their facial gestures, and speak quickly and in a strong voice. Adapting to red behavior owners. Be quick and concise. Follow the short conversations. Focus on the basics. Don't sit on the sidelines and make your opinion clear. Show your hard work. Remember that speed does not always lead to correct results. Give feedback to those with red behavior. Be frank and clear. Give concrete examples. Be objective and deal with facts, not feelings. Get ready to deal with any problem or any conflict calmly. Repeat what was agreed. Second, yellow behavior. People with this behavior are optimistic, and this behavior is often the most common type of behavior. 
His friends focus on developing relationships, and they can persuade. Yellow generally shows a high level of energy and curiosity. Conversations with them are often one-sided streams. They usually shift conversations to their side. They are characterized as very weak listeners, and they are often seen as careless in projects that require longer periods of concentration and follow-up. As for body language, people with this behavior are comfortable and tangible, have friendly eye contact, their gestures are expressive and clear, often approach objects and people, and speak quickly and emotionally. Adaptation to owners of yellow behavior. Create a warm and friendly atmosphere. Get rid of unnecessary details and focus on big issues. Empathize with decisions based on inner feelings. Give them space to work on new projects. Be friendly, for example, through body language. Check that they listen to your speech. Give feedback to those with yellow behavior. Prepare an agenda and stick to it. Do not allow them to waste time. Give concrete examples. Be aware that they may not be fully listening to you. Make sure they don't take it personally. Have them repeat what you agreed to. Green behavior. People with this behavior are calm, tolerant of individuals and friends and dependable, but do not say no immediately. They are less outspoken than others. They are stubborn once they make a decision. They have high apathy. They are less accurate than others, and they do not have enough commitment to maintaining relationships. As for body language, their body language is relaxed and close. They often tend to bend backward, make friendly eye contact, have small gestures, their voices are not loud, and they speak slowly and calmly. Adapting to green behavior owners. Be prepared to listen to their concerns. Allow them periods of calm and tranquility to recharge. Clearly explain the steps of action. Offer criticism in secret. Take the lead to get things done when needed. Give feedback to those with green behavior. Give concrete examples. Take a gentle approach while talking to them, as they can take things very badly. Explain that the problem is in behavior, not in people. Have them repeat what you agreed to. Finally, blue behavior. People are known to have a logical analysis ability, are quiet, don't like to take risks, pay attention to detail, and are usually introverted. They are not keen on small talk, can be cold, tend to focus on and check things because they do not trust others, and therefore make slower decisions than others. For body language, they prefer the distance between objects and people, are physically closed, talking without gestures, and in a faint and slow voice. Adapting to blue behavior owners. Do your homework. Stick to the task. Don't talk too much. Stick to the facts and avoid daydreaming. Provide the necessary details. Remind them that speed is sometimes a priority. Give feedback to blue behaviorists. Provide specific and detailed examples. Avoid over-customization. Stick to the facts. Be prepared for cower questions. Ask them to repeat what was said adapting to different types of behavior. We can always show our basic and true behaviors, but the truth is that we will not be able to deal and communicate with others unless we adapt to them and modify our style to suit their behavior. We live in a diverse world where we live with a mix of colors, so it is essential to understand each color individually to deal with it in a correct and meaningful way. In the meantime, yellow devotees and red demeanors have some familiarity. Both are introverts and therefore feel safe with each other, and both have the same kind of energy and enthusiasm to work quickly. While red behavior and blue behaved focus on details, green behavior and yellow behavior tend to form relationships with each other, and yellow is a great speaker and listener to green. At the end, Erickson argues that no system is perfect, and his book does not claim to be entirely comprehensive in terms of how we, as people, communicate with each other. No book can do this, because the number of signals we constantly convey to those around us is not proportional to the size of any book. In the end, this book can help those who need to know the patterns of behavior to deal with people, and thus build more stable and continuous relationships especially when a person has to deal with co-workers, partners, neighbors, or others.
but talk remains theoretical and useless unless you try and apply what you have learned.